As per Lenz's law, the current induced in a loop is such that it opposes the change in magnetic flux. In this video, we will start with an important concept and then go ahead and solve some examples. So here we have a current carrying loop with current in anti-clockwise direction and we can find the magnetic field by using the right hand thumb rule. And what we notice is that the current in the loop within the loop creates a magnetic field which is all pointed outwards of the paper and outside the loop it is all pointed inwards. So if you look at it from a different direction we will see that the magnetic field lines are all coming outside and this is like a bar magnet where the magnetic field lines are going around the loop and back to the south pole. So a current carrying loop behaves like a magnet. Here we have a current carrying loop carrying current in anti-clockwise direction and it is made to fall in direction of B and the question is what will be the direction of induced current in B. Now we know that a current carrying loop with carrying current in anti-clockwise direction behaves like a bar magnet and the direction of the bar magnet is such that the north is pointed upwards and the south is pointed downwards. Now if the magnet is made to fall towards B, the magnetic field induced in B will be such that it will oppose this movement. So it should create a south pole towards this particular falling loop A. So the current in loop B will be in a clockwise direction to oppose the movement of A towards B. So here we have an electromagnet and there is an aluminium ring kept in front of the electromagnet and the current I is increased. Now when the current increases, does the aluminium ring attract or repel the electromagnet? So here we first establish the direction of the magnetic field and we see that it behaves like a bar magnet with the south pointed towards the aluminium ring and if the current is increased the electromagnet will get stronger and this is like moving the electromagnet towards the aluminium ring. So the south pole is moving towards the aluminium ring and the induced current in the aluminium ring will be such that it opposes this moving magnet. So a south pole gets created in the aluminium ring which will repel the electromagnet and the induced current will have a clockwise direction. So here we have a conducting loop placed in a magnetic field and the magnetic field is increasing in the downward direction and we have to find the direction of induced current in this loop. Now we know as per Lenz's law that the direction of the induced current will be such that it will oppose the change in magnetic flux. So we make an assumption here. We make an assumption that the direction of the current is from D to C and based on right hand thumb rule we establish the direction of the magnetic field and here we find that within the loop the direction is pointing upwards which is in opposite direction to the magnetic field and therefore the direction of the current from D to C appears right. We go ahead and also establish the direction in the smaller loop. Now here we find that the direction of the magnetic field within the loop is pointing in the direction of the magnetic field and is supporting the change in flux which is not as per Lenz's law. So now is this direction right? And uh, the way we will look at it is that this particular loop has a larger area. The CD loop has a larger area compared to AB. So the direction will be established based on the magnetic field being created in the CD loop and not in the AB loop. So the direction of the current will be from D to C. The other way to look at it is uh, we look at this loop and look at this magnetic field as a magnet which is increasing or coming closer to the magnetic loop and try and establish 
the magnetic field that will be created in this particular loop which will oppose this moment and we will arrive at the same conclusion. So here we have a current carrying wire and the current is increasing in this wire and there is a loop which is kept next to the wire and the question is what will be the induced current in the loop. Now for solving the question we look at this particular segment of the loop which is closest to the current carrying wire and here the current will be induced in a direction which will oppose the increasing current and which will be in the opposite direction as per Lenz's law. Similarly if we have a situation where the current is decreasing in this wire and we are asked to find the direction of induced current in the loop the current will be induced in the same direction or in anti-clockwise direction uh, to support the decreasing current in the current carrying wire. We have an irregular conducting loop placed in a magnetic field and the question is how should the magnetic field be changed so that there is tension created in the loop and it straightens out and becomes circular. So we look at it uh, from another direction and consider two situations. In the first situation we consider that the magnetic field is increased and that is like bringing a magnet closer to the loop and this introduces a current in the loop which opposes the movement towards the loop and this induced current will keep increasing uh, as the magnet approaches the loop and this creates a tension in the loop and it gets to straighten out. We consider another situation where the magnetic field is reduced and which is like moving the magnet away from the loop. Now this creates a south pole uh, towards the moving magnet but this field keeps reducing as the magnet moves away as uh, the field decreases and this does not create tension within the loop. So the magnetic field should be increased and this will create a counterclockwise current in the loop and thus uh, straighten out the loop. So here we have a circular loop and there is a positive charge which is going past the circular loop and the question is what will be the current introduced in this loop. So now there are two situations one when the positive charge is approaching the loop and in this case the current introduced in the loop will be such that it should oppose the charge moving towards the loop so the current will be in the opposite direction or clockwise on the other hand when the charge is moving away from the loop the current introduced will be such that it will oppose this movement of charge away from the loop. So the current introduced will be in anti-clockwise direction uh, to oppose this movement.